God made Reggie White a Goliath. How sweet the sound. But he gave him the heart of David. That saved a wretch like me. He searched for the promised land, a world championship. I once was lost. In Philadelphia, he nearly lost hope. But now I'm found. But in Green Bay, he got his second chance. Was blind. For 12 years, he never rested. But now. And in the end, I see. his prayer was answered. Amen. After all that you've achieved on the football field, Reggie, do you finally feel fulfilled, or do you have any other goals that, that, you, I, that you want to achieve? I thought I would be fulfilled, but uh, once the Super Bowl was over, I realized something. My career is not over. It began back in 85. In Philadelphia, White was a sack machine, the Minister of Defense. And on Sundays, his sermon never changed. The quest for the Super Bowl trophy. If we're gonna make it, we're gonna make it together. Just me. Father, I have an opportunity personally to finally win a championship, and we're on the road there. Yes, 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 we are. Thank you, Father. Let's get back to playing football like we started out the first four games, huh? He made seven straight Pro Bowls and anchored one of the decade's greatest defenses, but he won only one playoff game. He became a free agent, and it was time to move on, despite thousands of fans urging him to stay. To be honest with you, I mean, it, it had gone out of me. I mean, I had no enthusiasm about wanting to be a Philadelphia Eagle again. And the Eagles pretty much said, hey, you know, we don't want this guy no more. Really, I thought I was going to San Francisco, and I remember really praying about it. When I was down there praying, God asked me something. And it wasn't like he said, Reggie. It was just in my mind. He said, uh, what are they calling Green Bay now? I said, well, they're calling the San Francisco of the East because of the offense. He said, where did the head coach, the offensive coordinator, the defensive coordinator come from? He said, well, I said, they all came from San Francisco. He said, that's right, I want you to go to Green Bay. I'm bringing the sack to the back. The old-time sack leader added to his total, but he provided something the already talented Packers needed much more, toughness. You need enforcers. You know, if, if I'm putting together a football team, I'm going to find somebody who's a bad, bad mother. We need everybody today. Every single person on this team. We got to kick some tail. Well, if Reggie White says that to you, if you got a half a brain or a minute speck of a brain, you listen. Reggie had no choice but to listen to his high school coach, Robert Pulliam. He used to wrestle me. And if I laid there, he would keep me down until I cried. How old were you? I was like, uh, I think, 17 years old. That's kind of old to be crying, uh, don't you think? But no, he, I mean, he really got out to me. Yeah. And I'll never forget it. He came in the back, and I thought he was going to apologize to me. And he looked at me in the eyes, and he said, if you think that I'm going to stop, you can forget it. He said, until you start fighting me back, I'm going to keep whooping your tail. And I didn't realize what he did until I signed here. Until I signed here, I was like, you know what? He, he taught me how to be tough, and he taught me how to have courage. No one had to teach him how to have fun or how to lift a team. He's just a big kid. You know, he's a six foot five inch, 300 pound goof. Hi, y'all smile. Hey, bro. He'll turn into Muhammad Ali like this. I'm the greatest of all time. People know I'm pretty. I, I can still fight. They say I'm old, I'm not old. Or he'll give you a Rodney Dangerfield. You know my coach, Buddy Ryan, I tell you, he's so ugly. When he cried, tears go down the back of his head, avoid his face, I tell you. Or he'll start messing with you in the locker room. <laughs> oh, God. I like it. This is cool. <laughs> I'm glad you do. <laughs> Shake his hand. This is a once-in-a-lifetime thing. I just want people to feel, hey, man, this guy is real. He's not a phony. You know, he don't think he's better than nobody else. He's trying to help me. So if he's going to try to help me, then I need to try to help myself. In 1996, Reggie was in need when an arsonist torched his church. Money was raised to rebuild. And a year later, White rose from the ashes. His moment was finally at hand, and he unleashed back-to-back -back sacks in a record three-sack performance. The 12-year wait 
was over. Back in the pocket, here they come again. Reggie got him again. Back in the 15-yard line. It's a great series by Reggie White. We have a shot of you at the end of the Super Bowl. Holding up that trophy, running around on the field, what was going through your mind? I wanted to hold it up not only for, you know, us having the opportunity to win and me finally being on the team to win one, but to let them know, hey, you guys are the original champions and you deserve it just as much as we do. Now he has another second chance, a chance for a second title.